Hey everyone, it's me, um, Alexandra, Playful Kitty 828 This is a new account of mine. I was called MimiNico828, but I totally just lost track of everything in that account, and everything went whoop! I'd like to, um, I'm glad that I'm starting out the whole account thing with a Thanksgiving video, although I made my Fish Fingers and Custard video, which will be coming up first. But, I'm, I'm glad to start with a Thanksgiving video, because it's just something I can express happiness and thankfulness for many things, many things that came to me in my life, many gifts that God granted me. I'd like to thank God in my first video, and also it gives me a chance to say, talk about the things that I like, and introduce myself a little because of all the things that I'm grateful for. Well, I'm mostly grateful for my family and my friends and God himself, all the people, because the people in the world are the most precious thing. People are People are so wonderful and just awesome. I know that everyone agrees, but I think people are just such a wonderful gift of God to us, and we're one of us is a gift to the other. There's nothing more amazing, more creative, just more wonderful than another person. And to be able to share life and to share everything you have with another person, it's just, it's just wonderful to have family and friends, people who are there for you. Other than that, well, I'd like to thank God, of course, for nature. For the beauty of the Mediterranean Sea and the Alps, which I got to spend a year on when I was in France, but also for the beauty of Canada, my home country, and Poland, my country of origin, and all the other wonderful countries in the world I've had the chance to visit. Just all the animals. Like when I'm sad, I think of a cuddling kitty, of a praying kitty, and that just makes me feel better. I know that's so strange and so weird, but that's what I like. Cuddly kitties, and that makes me feel better. I think of God's gift of nature, I think of animals, and that makes me feel better. Some people do the same with flowers or birds or, like, I knew an old man who liked to listen to the birds sing, and I thank God for that, for the wonderful world. And other than that, well, <laughs> me and my friends listed some things on our little Thanksgiving game that you might not think of when you're thinking of thankfulness. We listed things like food and teeth to be able to eat the food with, soccer, harcerstvo, which is like Polish Boy Scouts, um, Assassin's Creed and Doctor Who, and computer programs like GIMP and Unreal Engine, food, nature, family, friends, we made a whole list. Yesterday when I played this game with my parents, we also listed skunk, because the skunk, we have the skunk in front of our house who just, like, is always causing havoc here. He's just such an, oh, annoying little pest, but we love him because he just brings so much joy. We're always making fun of him. We're always looking at him and seeing how cute he is. This little skunk is a precious gift from God to us, and we're really happy to have him, because he's just awesome. Like, he's just so awesome. And, and I also thank God for the gifts he's given me, like, this is going to sound snobby, but everyone has this in them, and I don't have it in any higher degree than other people do. I do have it to some extent, but it's not like I have it. I'm very grateful to God for giving me the ability to be able to uh, continue with my studies, to be able to keep up with my schoolwork, to be creative and artistic and to make things, um, um, crafts and arts and, and books to write and stories and drawings and, and singing and all this other stuff where I'm able to move, that I'm able to dance, that I'm able to walk and rollerblade and even though I might skin my knee as I have a few days ago, I'm still able to do it and to continue. All that I'd like to thank God for. And I have here the Book of Awesome because I think it's a great thing to read for Thanksgiving. It's like this and the Touched by an Angel Thanksgiving episode are like my two number one Thanksgiving recommendations. Uh, just, it reminds me of all the things you have to be thankful for. Like uh, popping bubblegum wrap, laughing so hard you make no sound at all. When you know all the buttons to speed through the automated telephone system. Really, really selling it while barbecuing. Getting a trucker to blow his horn. Oh, I love that one, especially when it's like a Peterbilt truck, and I'm like, Optimus Prime! Honks for me! Woo! -hoo! It's just awesome. It's just an awesome feeling. Um, well, there's ice cream left at the bottom of the cone. Best! I didn't even get through this one. I'm just like, that is epic. Your pillow. I thank God for that every night, and I'm just so tired. I'm just like, a feather pillow. Thank you, God. Thank you for the pillow. It's one of God's greatest gifts to us, a pillow. And of course, I have to say hot chocolate. It's just the best drink ever. Um, and, well, maybe not necessarily for everyone, but for me. <laughs> and, okay, so there's a great quote from here that, 
that is good about for Thanksgiving, and that really made me think about the gifts that we don't realize we have, the way we're blessed by God that we don't realize. It seems like maybe these tiny little moments make an awesome difference in many of our rushed, jam-packed lives. Maybe we all love snow days, peeling an orange in one shot and popping bubble wrap. Maybe we're basically all the same. So that just makes me think of things that unite us. Gratitude is an emotion that unites us since we're basically all grateful for things like food and water and shelter and love and family, friends, nature, the sky, the earth, humans. It's just these things are something that universally unites us. Maybe there are some particularities, like um, I might be grateful for the Disney Princess series. My brother might really just wish that it was all over. But <laughs> mostly, we're really grateful for these little moments, for the things that bring joy, for the smiles that we have. And um, this book, as well as many other kinds of, this kind of um, literature, there's things that make you think of what God has given you. And it really made me think about God and about his blessings, and about the things I don't appreciate, I don't look at. I don't really think so much as much how much I might love, you know, the moment before the concert when the lights go out. I never thought about how wonderful that moment is. Or in the movies too, when the lights go dim, I just, you forget to thank God for these things, and they're very important that you might need to thank God for these as well. And when you tally it up, how many moments were good and how many moments were bad, you will find that the list of good things is much longer than the list of bad things. It's just the bad things make such a sensation, gossipy kind of stuff. But really, you know, the good things in life are like, when you get a new poster, and you get to put it up. Or when your friend buys you a stripped cat in Vegas. Or when your friends come over for Thanksgiving dinner, and one of them is a surprise guest that your brother has been missing and finally got to see. That's the kind of things that make your life. And it just, it's just really something that really touches me and makes me think about God, and that's kind of my meditation for Thanksgiving, to remember all the moments that really, when I've really been blessed. I also remember recently hearing a quote that really made me laugh, and also really made me think, and it's the quote, keep calm and don't forget to be awesome, which is one I heard on YouTube, based on keep calm and carry on, and another more Christian version of it, where I actually bought the bookmark, which is um, keep calm and don't forget to pray, uh, two things that I think is especially for Catholics, are like really close to heart because keep calm and don't forget to pray, we have our faith. And keep calm and don't forget to be awesome, we have our good actions, good works that we need to do to move the world forward. And I have been on a rant! I've been rambling on and on and on. Um, my friend recently told me I write good rambles in my stories, just I'm good at writing when people ramble. That's probably because I do it too much, and I'll end it on that. You can thank God that it's over. <laughs> so, have a great day, and um, remember to be thankful. Bye-bye.